Hello, my name is Allison, and I'm going to be uh, talking about why uh, switching to popular vote wouldn't work. So, um, so the idea of uh, everyone a popular vote so that it would balance each vote, it would create more of a sway in larger popular states. People are moving to places uh, that are moving to places in like-minded communities more than they ever have before. Um, in the United States, um, a lot of people, if you're, if you're Democratic, you live in the, in the urban areas, and Republicans live in the rural areas. More people live in the urban regions, which is also, which would mean that the rural and all the, like the Republicans would be the minority of um, the voting, and which would kind of cause the same problem if they were trying to count everyone's vote. Um, and for the idea of getting everyone involved, the Electoral College ensures that all parts of the country are involved in selecting the President of the United States. If the election depends solely on a popular area, then candidates would limit campaigning to heavy popular areas or special regions. To win the election, President's candidates need electoral votes from multiple regions and therefore they build campaign platforms everywhere. Um, and without the Electoral College, groups such as Iowa farmers and Ohio factories workers would be ignored in a favor of, um, in, due to higher popula population places. Um, proving the fact that um, this is the, sorry, that we should keep the Electoral College, it was created by our founding fathers. The Electoral College of the United and the U.S. Constitution because they thought it was the best, the best method to choose the president. Using electorals instead of popular votes was intended to safeguard against uniform or uneducated voters by putting the final decision in the hands of electorals most likely to process the information necessary to make the best decision. To prevent states with larger populations from using undue influence and to compromise between electing the president by popular votes and letting Congress choose the president. Changing um, to popular vote would cost even more money. Imagine if we were um, in an election and the vote was less than 5% difference. Everyone would automatically require a recount. Who's going to pay for that? That's going to cost more money for our government to pay someone to recount all of the votes and assure that that was the right amount of votes. And if we were going to switch it, that means we would have to change the an, an amendment. Um, since the Congress of the Bill of Rights became governing doc documents in the United States, they have only been 17 amendments made to it. The last amendment, the 27th Amendment to the Constitution, was ratified nearly 200 years ago. After it, it was originally proposed, the amendment required that any change of the rate of co um, compensation for a member of Congress can only take effect after an election in the House of Representatives. It is impossible to pass a Constitution amendment, though history shows it is not an easy process to make. And lastly, why fix something that is broken? An American election system has operated smoothly for the last 200 years. Because the Electoral College accomplishes in its, its intended purpose, American president's election process preserves uh, federalism, prevents chaos, grants defining electoral outcomes, and preventing unreasonable rules. The Founding Fathers created a stable, well-planned, and careful design system, and it works. Yeah.